Kathy here on my YouTube channel, Kathy's World. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. And today we're doing a fashion box unboxing. This is front door fashion. This box is just overflowing. It's a wonder it made it here in one piece. You do send the items back in this box. So I think I'm going to buy some tape just so I can tape it up really well and make sure it gets back because I know I won't be keeping everything in the box. Front Door Fashion does not have a styling fee. They take a $100 deposit, which they give back to you when you send everything back. If you buy something, that $100 will go towards your purchase. Last box, I was not impressed with it. I think the fashion was just a bit too out there for me. I did all the videoing on the unboxing and the try on, and I didn't even put it up because I was kind of dissatisfied with it. But I thought I would go ahead and try it one more time because I've seen lots of pictures of the fashion they sent and love them. I do believe on their site, I'm not positive, I do believe on their site that you can put your Pinterest board and I have my Pinterest board for fall and winter up on their site if I'm not mistaken. I will double check that. Alright, this box is huge. Everything comes in a garment bag so bear with me as I get it unpacked. First up we have our little envelope here. We've got Kathy, which is me, with a heart. Front door fashion. These items were hand selected for you. They send you a address label that you can adhere to the box when you send your things back. Here is my price list. There's some expensive things in here and a lot of things. I think they send you like four to six complete outfits, which is something I really like. I like complete outfits. And I would be more inclined to buy something if it's a complete outfit. Also send some tape for you too to put on your box when you're getting ready to mail it back. Remember not being crazy about their checkout because there really is no checkout. You just can write notes down. On Stitch Fix and other ones, they're very specific. They have pictures of the outfit. You can rate the outfit based on how it fit, what you think the style was like, and if you want to keep it or send it back. This is the garment bag. It is stuffed full. I can barely lift it, which is a lot of fun. So let's see what we have. All right, this is the first outfit. I really like this jacket. As you can see, the top of the hanger just came completely undone. Okay, I really like this jacket. This jacket is by Jack. Well, this jacket is called Jack by BB Dakota. Oh, the price isn't that bad. I thought it would be like hundreds of dollars. See all the little patterns here? It's like a faux leather, I think. It is by Jack and it has by BB Dakota. And I think this is really pretty. They sent me a medium, which should fit. I like the zippers. I love the detail on this. It looks like it'd be a pretty short one. I think this is really cute and it's not as outrageous as I thought it would be. It is $88, so that's not too bad. That I really like. And this goes along with, I hate that the hanger broke, this top. Well, interesting pants are almost suede like. Um, this top is by She Plus Sky, She and Sky. I mean, it's pretty. I really like it. Probably what I don't like are the sleeves. Um, I find that when you have all the stuff hanging around your wrist, it gets in the way. But I like the color of the shirt, but I probably would not be getting this. It's $44, so the price is not bad. It feels really nice. It's cute, but I'd, I'll try it on, but I don't think I would like this. It's a little out there for me. And these crazy, like, I want to say suede pants. Kind of pretty. They are by, don't know who they're by, Crazy Larry. Ultra suede pull-on pant. Ooh, it's pricey, $130. But I do like it. It's got like a little slit here at the ankle. Don't think it's on sale. It's not. Size 10. So it should fit me. It's cute. I'll try that on as an actual outfit, which will be fun. I can already tell you this is not me. I do like, I like the print, it's fine. This neck stuff with ruffles around it, not me. It's got a tie back here. This is by Lalea P, size medium. Ooh, this thing's $155, I'm glad I don't like it. It's supposed to go, I think it's supposed to go with those suede pants I just showed you. It's a shirt 
S H I R R E D neck blouse by Lalea Lalea P. $155 in plaid. And here we have, it looks like a sweater, oh, there's pants in here too. A sweater, a white top, and a pair of pants. I'll be interested to see what this looks like on. This style sweater, I don't like the boxy sweaters that much. This reminds me of my middle school age days. I'm just not crazy about it. It's, I mean, it's nice. It is $118 by Cupcakes and Cashmere R-A-C-H striped sweater. That's nice, but I know it wouldn't be anything that I would want to keep. Um, we have a white button-up shirt. I like white shirts, and this looks like it would need ironing all the time, and I don't like to iron. But it is by Lizetti, $125. No, not me. A cute little purple skirt is by Three Dots Stretch Corduroy Skirt in Port Wine for $106. It's pretty, but that's an awfully high price for the skirt, $106. I wonder why. Okay, here we have a pullover turtleneck. Not a turtleneck girl. Um, it's pretty. It looks almost holiday-ish because it's got this gold line here. Very soft, very nice. I like the color a lot. I like the sleeves, nice long sleeves. Cupcakes and cashmere. Perrick Stripe Sweater in black. Price is $108. I mean, it's pretty. I like it. I'm just not a turtleneck girl. Set that over there. Nice dress pants, actually. These are by... Who are they by? Who are they by? They are by I Love Tyler Madison. Leslie Pool on Pant, $102 in charcoal. She sent me a large. Wow, this is, it's like sweater material, but it's almost like a coat. It's got a hood. That's kind of pretty for fall. Oh, it's $43 too, that's a good price. It was originally 86. I kind of like that. Let's take it off the hanger. It's by Z Supply, very soft. Doesn't have any way to connect it. It does have a belt. There are two pockets, I think. Yep, there's pockets. That's cute. It's almost sweatshirt material. I do, I kind of like that. It's by Z Supply. It's a loft fleece coat again. See, it's a coat again. Never heard that term before. Button down, um, chambray, is that the word? Top. In the fall and winter, I really don't want short sleeves, so I probably won't get that. I'll try it on, though. But um, it's pretty. It's by Sanctuary. Uh, it's $79. And there's a pair of pants that I'm kind of intrigued with underneath. The designer of these pants is J Brand. I like these, actually. I would probably consider these if they're long enough. I don't like cropped pants on me. Uh, they're cropped, wouldn't you know it. And these are J Brand. I love the color. They're considered begonia, ruby cigarette crop jean, and I just don't like crop jeans, especially here again in the summer, it might be fine in the spring, but in the fall and winter, I want to be covered. It gets pretty cold. It's $99, so it's pretty pricey for a pair of crop jeans. I like this top a lot. It looks really small through the hips, and it is a turtleneck. It's by Lalea P. again. This turtleneck, I have to look again because I can't believe it's $99 for a turtleneck. It would have to be amazing. That's way too much money. My total order is $2,000. Way too much money. This is cute. It's also by Lalea P. Lalea P is pretty pricey. This is $110. It's way too much for me. It's a long sleeve V-neck top. So I probably won't try that on either. Plus it looks really snug through the waist. So set that aside. Here we have, it looks like a blue sweater and a plaid top. Start with the blue sweater, it's very soft, probably cashmere, I don't know. It must be, because it's $145, which I will not spend on a sweater. It's by Nova Cashmere, so fine, it's fine cashmere. I don't think I've ever owned a cashmere sweater, 
But I've gotten some really cute sweaters that are not cashmere that are very soft and nice. Here's another wrinkly one. It is by, it's a boyfriend shirt by Sanctuary. I mean, I like it. I like the color. It's, it's nice. But there again, I don't want to be ironing all the time. $79. So, you know what I'm really liking about this box? I'm liking the jackets. I don't think they're leather, but they're really cool. I do like the jackets. This being one of the ones I like. This is by Cupcakes and Cashmere. It feels kind of like a faux leather jacket. It's black. It's got the zippers and got a little zipper here. I, I do like this. It is, ooh, it's $148. So it's kind of expensive. Let's see what else it says about it here. Cupcakes and Cashmere INES Moto Jacket in black, $148. I mean, that's pretty. I do like that. This is an interesting top. Got some green suede pants here too, it looks like. This is a very see-through. At first I thought it was a sweater, but it's not sweater material. It's a black, very see-through top with this ribbing around the waist. And it is $98. It's got some, um, I don't know, it doesn't feel that, this doesn't feel, it feels um, nylon-y maybe? I don't know. But it's stretchy at the wrist. Not crazy about this. This is by Scotch and Soda. I could stand one of those. Scotch and Soda, $98 rib detail top. So, it's interesting. You've got ankle pant. And it's like a suede. The legging ankle, super skinny ankle jean. It's originally $108, now down to $99. There's still more. <laughs> and sadly, another turtleneck. This too looks like something I used to wear when I was a teenager or middle school. It's I love this fabric, it's very nice. It's $78, it is scotch and soda, striped turtleneck. Color is combo C. I mean, this is this one I would consider above the other ones because it's just so soft. So if it fit and looks good, maybe. But what did I say the price was? $78, but that's really soft. I like that, it's very long, it almost be a dress. Oh, now, see, here's my personality. A good old sweatshirt with a hood, and it's so soft. I like this. How much is it? $74. That's really nice. I mean, I do a lot with my grandkids. We're out going to farms, looking around, pumpkin patches, apple orchards. I really like this. It says, a collection designed with a Californian state of mind. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's extremely soft. This is Velvet by G&S Carlita Athleisure Hoodie. Night slash coconut is the color, and I like evenings and I like coconuts. And it was $148, it's now $74. I like that. So there's several things in the box this time that I like. Some things are still a little bit out there for me, but then we have off-white corduroy. Winter white, maybe. And it looks like it's not skinny. These are kind of nice. I like these. Please don't be cropped. Frame is the brand. Denim. London slash Los Angeles. I'll be getting this. It's $195. $200 for a pair of pants. I take that back. It's on sale. It's on sale for $97. I do like the sales. It's a... It's by Frame Denim, Lee High Straight Corduroy Pant, Off-White. I like those a lot. I do. So, I take back my words. There's several things, I mean, there's a million things in this box, but there's several things that I would consider buying. There's several things that I wouldn't consider buying, but there's several things that I definitely will consider. And I'm going to take all these things upstairs to my bedroom, and I'm going to try them all on. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay guys, here is my first outfit out of my front door fashion box. This shirt is ginormous. I, I don't like it. It's just, my daughter's pregnant and she could wear this shirt. I think through her whole pregnancy. There's so much room in it. It feels nice. I, I'm not crazy about these sleeves. They would drive me insane. I like these pants a lot. They're kind of a suede feel to them. They feel so nice. They do come down over my boots, 
which is what I was concerned about. These are pricey pants, but I really like them. You just pull them right up. They're so comfortable. You can just lounge in them or you go out in them. I think they're really pretty. These I will consider. This I will not. Okay, be right back. Tried this jacket on. It's a little bit too snug through the shoulders. I have kind of broad shoulders. I love this jacket, though. I think it's really cute, but it doesn't fit well. This it's just not my personality. But the pants I like. Okay, moving on. Okay, here's the next outfit. I don't like the way these pants fit. They do have pockets. They're kind of short in length. Not crazy about these pants. This sweater, I think I like it okay. I just think the turtleneck would drive me crazy. But it's pretty. It's got little gold stripes in it. It's nice, but not for me. It's nice. Nothing wrong with it. I remember it being very expensive. And I don't want to deal with all the ironing because it's very wrinkly. Here are the off-white corduroy jeans. I really do like these. I think they're a bit too tight though. I didn't like the way they fit. And here is a shirt that came with, uh, I think this was meant to go with that burgundy skirt. It's a little bit too short and boxy for me. Okay, moving on. This, I'm gonna call it a, I think they called it velvet, a velvet sweatshirt. It feels so nice, it's so comfortable. It's great for fall. I really like it. It's got a little hood. Don't look that great in hoods, but got a little hood. I really like it. I think I'm going to keep this one for sure. And I'm leaning toward those kind of suede pants too. Okay, be right back. Really, really like this jacket. But there again, the shoulders are just not broad enough for me. They're a little too tight. But I really like these little moto jackets. Really very nice. And they're not ultra expensive either. So I, if it fit, I probably would have considered it. I know I don't want any green suede pants. <laughs> These are kind of suede. They're the legging ankle skinny pant. And so I didn't try these on. Nice color though. Feels Christmassy. See? Okay. And I'm not going to try this either. There's a lot I like about it, but there's a lot I don't like about it. It's extreme, it's very see-through. It's not soft, and I like something soft. But it's nice, but not for me. I like this shirt. It's nice. It is very wrinkly. It's got a little tie here, but I'm not going to try it on. For me, this is not a fall and winter shirt. This is more of a spring and summer shirt. So at this point in the season, I'm not interested in this shirt, although it is nice. It fits really well. It's kind of soft, but it's extremely itchy. I could not stand it. I think it's real cashmere um, and it's really pricey. So I'm going to send that back to the store. This to me is hilarious. I feel like it's like putting on a wetsuit. It's the right size. I can move in it. I don't like it. I like the color though, and it is kind of soft. I'm gonna put it on with this. What do they call it? Codigan. Is it a cardigan? It's codigan. Something like that. <laughs> this I think is cute. It'd be great like to throw on to go out for coffee. I like it. So I would consider this. I think it's nice. Nothing fancy. It's got little pockets. Thanks for kicking around, going to the mall or something, going to Target. As far, I didn't bother trying this on because it said they were cropped and I don't need cropped pants. I like the color a lot though, but I don't need cropped pants for fall and winter. This, I love the color, but it's extremely wrinkled and you know I don't like wrinkles. I don't want to deal with them. So that is it for my unboxing and try on of Front Door Fashion. There are several things in here I'm considering. I'm considering this little jacket because I think it's cute. I'm considering um, those kind of suede pants. I'd have to get something to match them though. So I had to go take the pants to the mall and find some tops to match. And that sweatshirt. So there's three things I'm actually considering. I don't remember buying anything from them before. But I'm going to send everything else back if I can get it into the box. I really like the moto jackets but they were just a little bit too snug through the shoulders, so I didn't want to risk that. Thank you guys for joining me for my unboxing and my try-on. Let me know what you think about the outfits, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.